video so today is a work from home day oh i have a little life update for you guys so if you don't follow me on instagram understandable i I'm still trying to figure out what i'm doing over there but i posted um this week that so my company like a lot of other companies have decided to end the 100 remote work or 100 work from home model so we have returned back to the office this week so how many days you go in the office, I guess it's dependent on your SVP. Our SVP has decided that our work group will return to the office three days a week. So my work in office days is two, it will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So that's where I've been this week. So that is going to change kind of how I film my work days in the life. I'll probably just do it on my days where I work from home because it's a lot of people in the office. I'm not trying to record other people. So yeah, I probably won't be doing that. But that's a mini life update. Yeah, we're back in the office and y'all know I've been wanting to go back to work in the office. So I don't have any problem with it. I know some other people have problems with it, especially the way they went about it. I, I think it's going to be a phased approach because when different SVPs decide to have their work groups go back in the office will vary. So like I know we came back in November, but some other teams are not going to start going back into the office until next year. So I guess it'll give them and our real estate planning team time to figure this all out because for the location or for the building that I go to or that yeah the building that I work out of it's not the same building that we were um, working out of before the pandemic so it's a smaller office and the amount of people that are mapped to work out of that location they don't have enough seats so there's not enough space for everybody to be there all the time so they have to do um, one, a phased approach, and then also kind of like alternate the days in which we work there. So yeah, I guess we'll see as other groups start to return to the office, how that's going to look. As of right now, like some groups, they are like twice every other week. We are three times per week. Some teams are two times per week and depending on how far you live away from an office you are not required to go in at all because during the pandemic you know it had you can work anywhere so a lot of people moved you know back home or moved away whatever the case may be so they're not close to an office so and then they closed a lot of offices like I said we're working out of a new building so this isn't the same office space that we had before so yeah all of these factors come into play and yeah I mean some people I feel like this is going to be the new norm so if you are you know looking and applying for jobs um look and see where that company is based out of look and see where their office spaces are because because from people that I've talked to I would say it's preferred preferred that you when you're looking for a job, I will say it's probably going to be preferred that you live close to an office that they have. Um, they will probably prefer someone that is able to come into the office. So not saying this is for all jobs, but from the people I've talked to, yeah, so. Okay, but today what I'm working on this morning is I need to build an Excel template. So I need to do a lot of different formulas in here. I'm building a template to prepare for some reporting that needs to be done at the end of November. And I wanna set it up in a way that anyone can run it if I'm out. So I've done this in the past in prior roles where I've built an Excel template. All you have to do is download the data and put it in here and I don't want to do like I would normally for something like this I would 
like in my nail roll, I would connect it to Teradata so that I can, all you have to do is hit the refresh and log in with your Teradata ID and it'll refresh the report for you. But the people that are gonna be using this may not have access to Teradata. So that's why I'm going to, that's what, well, yeah, that's why I'm going to do a lot of formulas in here and just kind of have it so you delete the old data, paste in the new data, and then maybe refresh a pivot and all of the formulas and things will update. So that's what I'm working on today. I've been working on, I worked on this yesterday when I was in office as well, but I didn't get to start or I didn't get to get that much done because of other things that I was helping out a coworker with some things. So I didn't get much time to work on my own project. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now that I'm home and I don't have to, you know, I don't have like those kind of interruptions. But yeah, so what I'm doing in this Excel file is that I need to, so for our sales, I'm trying to rank, I did this in Tableau, but I need to do this in Excel. So do a rank by category. So do an overall ranking of results and then do a rank by specific sales categories. So I'm going to do those formulas there. And then so that I can, you know, like you can filter by ranking in the file. So I have my standard rank formula in here. And then in order to rank by category, I did a sum product rank um, formula. I did a sum product formula or is it called a formula? Yeah, I did a sum product formula, which will allow me to rank results by specific categories. So I'll pop up the actual formula on the screen. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna show you how I complete the sum product. So what this formula does is it checks for two conditions. The first part is going to return an array of true or false based on the grouping. And for the grouping, I'm just using the category here. So in, or in column O is where I'm going to use the group. And then the second part of the formula it's going to check whether the score is less than the other scores in that range of cells, and that's going to be for the profit. So with this formula, what we're saying is, hey, tell me in this column, which of these are the same? Which of these categories are the same? And then once you've determined which of these are the same, create a group for them. So it's gonna create like a true false situation when it finds the group. Next, then tell me in this other column for these groups, which one is less than the other, and then the one ranks them. And then also, you guys, Yesterday, I was helping out with, um, I, I mentioned I was helping out with a teammate's project and we pulled up on a call with a member of our finance team because a lot of the sales data, like sales and finance are like this. So a lot of the things that we need to get access to or to review have to do with finance data. And I've been telling you guys that like they would not give me access to their table. So a few days ago, I got access to some of the tables. And then yesterday I got access to some more tables because I was able to like, I, I really think like they're swamped with work, but like he was like, yeah, you have a really good understanding of this. And I, even though it's a secure table, like we can grant you access to these select tables so that you can pull and review these results for the project that you're working on. And if there's something in my code that I need to alter and change to, accommodate the project, just let me know. So I was very happy to get access to some more tables because that's going to allow me to be more efficient with my work and my job, you know, where I'm not having to rely on, hey, can you pull this? Hey, can you pull this? Just because it's in a secure table. So I'm slowly wearing them down, I think, slowly wearing them down to get access to these tables. But hold on. What? Okay, let me check this email. I don't know 
what is going on? It's saying my ID has been suspended for 14 days. How? Okay, y'all, is this one of those use it or lose it type of situations? Like what's going on? I'm sorry, this caught me off guard. Your ID will sus be suspended. Please log in to retain access. Is this a real email or is this like one of those spam or phishing emails? Cause I have never, what is Okay, let me figure this out. I'll check back with you guys later. It's time for my one and only meeting of the day or what's supposed to be my only meeting for today. Okay, I hope I didn't have anything. Okay, I can't see everybody. I don't know what's going on. I can hear other people. I can't see, still can't see, but it's okay. I'm about to hang up on this call. Okay, um, are we sending to you guys already? No. Hold on, I'm confused, I'm sorry. What, is this the email that I sent to? Because that's, it wasn't for the one that I assisted. No, I thought we couldn't, okay. Maybe I need to talk to offline, but I didn't think we were sending, yeah, I didn't think we were sending that. Okay, so that, yeah, so that's the piece I'm not sure. So I'll follow up because I got the information he needed, but as far as what their, their targets are, that's the piece I'm not sure. And I did not work back with on getting that data. So let me double check to see if that's something we're able to send over because I'm not sure. And I haven't worked on that either because that is a part of like they have, they will have specific targets, you know, so. There's an ads and then there's a, right? You're saying you already received the ads. The piece I'm not sure on is the card. If, if we're able to share that and that, but you wouldn't need, well, you wouldn't need both then. So you wouldn't need, because that's like, the, it's a target. And that's the piece, can you clarify for me? Will that change? Because I thought there was, and maybe I'm looking at attainment that it changed, it adjusts. It, does that happen with, okay. So it would be something that would have to be shared continuously. So yeah, I will, I'll double check because um, so far I've only worked on the, making sure he had access to that for their target, I will have to follow up. Aren't they seeing this? No, you're fine. I was going to say like, my understanding is that as they, it will adjust in the system, but it only adjusts in the system like twice per week. So that's my understanding, I could be wrong. So my question to you guys would be, so if we're unable to send the, what would that look like when you're in? So for anyone, like if we're, like if you're only able to load in and not the, which would give you the ability to show them their attainment to target. I'm not questioning them. Okay, I'll circle back first. I'm gonna check to see what metrics he is feeding to you guys so I can get um, maybe a list of what it is that you do have access to. And I'll also check on the, okay, for sure, I will. Probably not. Okay, you guys, so I just got off a call and I'm doing some follow-up work because there's an external, we work with external companies, as I'm sure a lot of companies do. And there are some metrics that we send to them that they can use to upload in one of the products that they provide for us. So we send them these metric calculations and they're asking for some metrics, some sales metrics that are in a secure table that we, and my understanding is that we don't send them. We don't send that data to them. And that's something that they're asking for. So I'm trying to verify what data are we sending? Because this is all new to me, but I'm trying to verify what are we actually sending to them in a feed? And then what are we not? So I need to check with our HR and legal team to see, okay, they're asking for X, are we able to send it to them? Because I see we're sending Y, but they want X. Can we send that to them? I'm just reaching out to a whole bunch of people right now because this was not expected, like, or I wasn't expecting this to come up on the call. So I'm not even working on the Excel template that I was earlier because I'm just trying to track down, okay, I need a list of everything we're sending to them and I need to check with HR and legal and say, okay, are we able to send this particular metric to them? And the reason this is important is because this data, like I said, it's in a secure finance table. So I don't even know if it's one of the tables I got access to over the last couple of days, number one. And then number two, I don't want to get in trouble for saying, yeah, we can send you this data. And they're like, no, they're not supposed to be getting this data. So definitely want to double check because 
I'm not just going to send you data just because you asked for it. I got questions like, are we even allowed to? Because my understanding from another metric they wanted was related to, and it was, we, we were told, no, they can't have access to that data. So I'm not going to get caught up. No, I'm going to check with every department I'm supposed to and make sure I have documentation that you're saying it's okay for them to have this data. So that's what I'm going to do. Three hours later. Y'all, I'm just... I'm kind of over it right now. So I'm working on the same thing, trying to get answers from people. So I asked someone on my team that's been on this team for a while, hey, are we allowed to share this data with this external company, right? He doesn't know. So I'm like, okay, let me reach out to my director and ask him. My director creates a group Slack with the same teammate to ask him my question. I already asked him. He don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Okay? Like, I feel like I'm getting nowhere. Like, if you don't know, just say you don't know. You don't have to involve other people. Just say, hey, I don't know. It's okay. I can reach out to other people. I'm just trying to get an answer. And then they're having this full-on conversation and nobody's answering my question. So I'm assuming y'all don't know. Okay? Like, and that's fine. But just say it. Like, y'all coming up with all this other... Like, just... I'll just reach out to the person in legal. I'm trying to ask other people before I go up, you know, I'm asking on my team. You don't know. Okay, my manager's not here. Let me ask our director. He's the next level up. Like I'm trying to follow the chain of command before I go straight to HR and legal and say, hey, do y'all know? Is this a problem? Because I asked the reporting people and they're like, we've never sent it. We've never sent, I've asked other reporting people and they said, we've never sent this company that data. They said they remember conversations, but they've never sent it to them. Okay. So at least I know from, that you may not know why, but we've never sent. Okay. So I'm assuming there's a reason why we're not sending this data to them. <sighs> Sorry, I'm looking at something. But yeah, I'm assuming there's a reason why, but y'all, like, it's, it's just like, I'm not afraid to admit, I don't know this, but just say that instead of going on this whole other tangent. Okay, well, how can I explain this to, like they just add and work to other people's plate. Okay, um, so I'm trying to explain this to the finance um, BI manager that I worked with, what they want to see if it's possible to do this. Like, cause he's already doing the work, but like he would need to, maybe do a couple more calculations, provide one of our other HQ data engineers with access to the table so they can then create the feed that goes to this external company. He's layers to it, okay? So I'm messaging him to see if this is possible. I don't know. Yes, let's please ask her. Let's ask the HR people. Yes, finally, okay. Okay, sorry, we're we're asking HR. <laughs> we're asking HR because they don't know. Like you don't know. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, but I I like this is the stuff I don't like. Like I don't see how I ask a question and it ends up turning into more work. Like <laughs> I want to go home. That song, yeah, I want to go home, and I am home. This is a mess. Can we please not? Okay. <sighs> I don't want to put no more work on people either. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to wait and see what H if they can tell us what HR says. Y'all, I'm 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 going to end the video off here because um I have no answers. Like I'm just going around in circles, I feel like, and no one has any answers for me. My director doesn't have an answer, but wants additional stuff done. I, I, I don't know where to go from here. I don't have any answers. So I can't do this additional work if no one can answer my question on whether or not we can send this data over to this other company that we're working with. So until I get that information, like this is just going to be put on pause. And I've reached out to people. They're reaching out to people. It's like, we're all trying to find the answer to this and nobody knows. Like there's no documentation. It's just all tribal knowledge. Somebody has this information somewhere in their heads. I don't know. But like, it's not like this is a new process. I just want to know what we can and cannot send. Can we send this data or not? So for the time being, I'm going to say we cannot and we'll just keep it moving. 
So that's going to be it for the video. Comment below any questions, concerns, leave it there. I'll see you guys in the next one.